Professional governance empowers me to be a great nurse. Um, it gives me a voice. It helps me make sure that I'm giving the best care to my patients. Teammates, primarily nursing teammates, come together to discuss what is best for them, the hospital, and the patient. It's the place where your voice can be heard. Um, it's a chance to come to the table as a team member where decisions are often made by management and to help be a part of those decisions um, for your safety, for patient safety, and just kind of for overall satisfaction. Also open up doors for professional advancement um, and creates a thriving working environment for nurses to provide the best possible care for their patients. There's a system level, there's a hospital level, and there's a unit level. But it starts at the unit level um, because that's where the care begins. Um, the unit levels, we have unit councils where we talk about different things that are going on um, within our unit. Um, and then from there, we take them to the hospital council. The hospital council listen to those concerns and then we take it to the system because if one unit or one facility is having an issue, it's probably something that's going on across all the, all the systems. So we just bring it together so that everybody can be on one accord. Decision points are our monthly talking points that each council kind of puts in one sheet, which is easy to find. They can be found on Caroline or on the hospital's Facebook page. And it lists all of our councils and the most important talking points. You know, if one council is talking about something and they bring it up at their decision points, I can go, hey, we've also been talking about this. Let's work together. It can impact patient outcomes. It can enhance quality of care for our patients. Your patient outcome is really what drives professional governance. Because we want what's best for our patient, we can't say, oh, we want what's best for our patient, but our collapse rate is through the roof. Um, so I feel like if you're an engaged unit council, once you see you have a collapse issue or a cardi issue or a happy issue, you really do want to make that change. Um, so in turn, our patients just do better because our nurses want your happy rate to be lower. We want our cardi rate to be lower. We don't want any collapses. But I do think it is a responsibility for a growing nurse. I'm Like I said, I, I've been in a nurse for 10 years and I just, I want more for myself, um, so that's why I get involved. I want to be more engaged. Um, I think that's how you get to know your teammates and your floors. If you want to take pride in what you do, this is the opportunity to make it count. I think that being involved in professional governance really does make you have a voice in your care. You should get involved in professional governance so that you can be a voice and to help make a change. You want to be, you want to make sure that when you come to work you have all the tools and all the things that are necessary to get through your shift and to care for your patients. Professional governance is the way to make sure that those things happen.